Yo guys, in literal interpretation, especially in Swahili, we say it's called Ugonjo Waskari. And medically, we call it diabetes. I don't know how you call it in your own language. Uh, even my local dialect, we call it is from the interpretation of uh, the the ugonjwa wa sukari. That is the literally means disease of the sugar or sugar problem disease. So today we're going to talk about diabetes and when we talk about diabetes I'm going to talk about the 10 uh, warning signs uh, of diabetes. That's so 10 warning signs of diabetes. That's what we're going to talk about and briefly I'm going to talk about how you're going to manage the warning signs and also prevent them to, from or to prevent you from reaching to that level of uh, having that problem of high uh, of uh, diabetes so uh, basically I'm going to start with my introduction of the 10 warning signs and when we talk about diabetes, diabetes is a chronic uh, condition characterized by blood elevated blood sugars especially in type 2 diabetes and it can develop gradually so and its symptoms may be uh, may be subtle at first or they may be very minute at, at first and i'm going to give you uh, the 10 common warning signs for diabetes so what are the warning signs for diabetes so that's what we're going to discuss today guys sit back the channel is nasvin kindly if you have not subscribed i want to encourage you to subscribe this is where we get to share matters medical in not in a simple language which you can understand. You don't need to understand medical jargon to get what we get to discuss in this uh, channel. So this is for everyone. That's why I always encourage you to share the videos widely because it is they are very easy to understand but the very deep information is shared here. So Vincent is not your average nurse. Uh, we do more than what uh, is common. Simple language, no medical jargon, but the deep information shared here, guys. So number one sign, we talk about frequent urination or what you call polyuria in medicine. So polyuria, that is frequent urination. So increased urination, especially at night, it's a common sign um, as the kidneys uh, try to eliminate excess glucose uh, from the blood. Number two uh, warning sign is what we call excessive uh, thirst. It's called polydipsia in medicine. So excessive uh, thirst are often accompanied with the frequent urination uh, because the body loses water more water leading to dehydration so we have a lot of thirst one feeling a lot thirst so that's also a very good warning sign that uh, one uh, as a warning sign for diabetes another uh, warning uh, sign is extreme hunger what you call polyphagia where we have despite eating more individual with diabetes may feel uh, extremely hungry uh, because the body cells are not receiving uh, the glucose they need for energy. So glucose is normally used for energy. Somebody develops what you call uh, polyphagia where you are eating a lot but at the same time you are not, uh, you are not, the body, start, so the body, uh, the, 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 the body to meet its energy levels one daily feels extreme hunger to eat so you find that someone is overeating. Number four is about an explained weight loss where rapid, rapid or an explained weight, weight loss can occur especially in type 1 diabetes because as body starts breaking down muscle and fats so for energy due to lack of insulin at that particular level. So number four is about, uh, number five is about fatigue where you have persistent tiredness when you have not worked it results 
for the body's inability to use glucose for energy effectively. Number six is about blood vision. And this, because of high blood, uh, level, uh, blood uh, glucose levels, can cause the lens of the eyes to swell and also leading to blood vision. Also, number seven is about slow, uh, uh, but uh, slow healing sores or frequent infections, where now high blood uh, sugar levels can impair blood flow and the body's natural healing process, so leading to slow healing. Uh, sores and increase uh, susceptibility, susceptibility to infections. Also, we have number eight, we have tinkling or numbness. With tinkling and uh, numbness or pain in the hands of the feet, what you call neuropathy can come up, can occur, and due to nerve damage caused by prolonged high blood, uh, le le blood sugar levels. Number nine is about the dry skin, it affects the skin, and this uh, diabetes can cause dry and itchy uh, skin due to dehydration. By dehydration we mean you lose a lot of water from the body, and because of the poor circulation and skin infections, so one has a dry, a dry skin. Number ten is about dark patches on the skin, what you call acanthosis nigricans. So acanthosis nigricans, or the dark patches on the skin can also come up because of the uh, with this dark uh, very wet patches of the skin usually in the neck arm bits also growing can indicate uh, insulin resistance and are often an early sign of diabetes so if we one develops dark uh, especially uh, velvet patches of the owner of the skin Usually in the neck, they say in the neck here, in the arm bits, yeah, the groin, I can't touch it there, also can indicate resistance or as an early sign of diabetes. So the organized thing, uh, why do I tell you about these 10 warning signs? I tell you about these 10 warning signs because by recognizing these signs, it's very crucial for our diagnosis and the management of diabetes. So if you experience any of these symptoms, it is important to consult with your uh, consult with your healthcare professional for evaluation and appropriate testing. Because early detection management can help prevent the complications and also improve the quality of life for individuals with diabetes. On management of these warning signs. Uh, to manage uh, diabetes effectively involves a combination of lifestyle changes, monitoring and also medical treatments. And I'm going to say about the key components of diabetes management. Number one is about lifestyle changes, where we talk about health eating. So balanced diet, especially focus on a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grain, lean proteins and also health fats. Also, when we talk about eating uh, health, we, we're talking about uh, carbohydrate counting, where you monitor the carbo carbohydrates which you are intaking to manage blood sugar levels. Also, portion control, where you avoid overeating to maintain health weight. Also, limit sugars and refined carbs, where we minimize consumption of sugar foods, food drinks, and also refined carbohydrates. Number two on these lifestyle changes, we talk about physical activity also, where we will exercise and where we target at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity, aerobic activity per week, such as walking, also what we call brisk walking, and also swimming and cycling. Strength training on the physical activity, where we incorporate the resistance exercises at least two times a week to improve muscle strength and also glucose utilization. Active lifestyle, where we encourage increasing the physical activity and also such as taking stairs instead of elevators and walking instead of driving short distances. Number two is about, uh, number one, we're talking about lifestyle changes. Number two, we're talking about monitoring blood sugar levels. So regular testing, where we self-monitoring, where you use a glucometer, that's a special machine for taking the blood glucose. To check the blood sugar levels regularly as recommended by your healthcare provider. Also, what you call 
CGM, what is called continuous glucose monitoring. Consider CGM devices that provide real-time blood sugar readings and the trends also can clearly help. Also understanding uh, results, you should know what you are targeting, the range you are targeting. Know your target blood sugar levels before and after meals, very important. And also adjustment, making necessary, necessary adjustment in diet, activity or medication based on blood readings. Number three is about medical treatment, very important also. Medications, we have special glycemics, we call them glycemics, which help to manage the sugars. Because Number one, we have oral medications, drugs such as metformin. Here we also have glucophage, so sulfonyls. We have also what we call SGLT2 inhibitors, which help to control the blood sugars uh, and also uh, uh, bring the level to the acceptable levels. So insulin therapy, we also have the patients put on insulin therapy, necessary for type 1 especially, and some of the type 2 diabetes, especially when the oral medication is not working, the patients are put on the insulin in the type 2 kind of diabetes. Different types of insulin, insulin are available, so an healthcare provider will guide you on the dosage and timing, very important, so that you get to control your sugars very well. Regular checkups as I'm in the medical treatments, we have healthcare team where regular visits to your doctor and what you call endoc uh, endocrinologists and also to help you come up with a, a, a good plan where you can get uh, help as uh, appropriate so that uh, you may get uh, to be attended by your healthcare provider as, uh, as much as it is needed for your safety and also to manage these uh, problems. So uh, with this kind of, uh, like we've talked about uh, medications, physical activity, diet, uh, there are very important components in which you get to manage your, uh, yourself very well so that uh, you don't get into complications and also you get to manage yourself very well so that you can, at the end of the day, what you are targeting on is you to get into uh, into a very to run your life in a very normal way without any stress or any any problem also we talk about maintaining number four we talk about maintaining healthy weight and when we talk about weight management we're talking about achieving an unhealthy body weight through combination of diet and exercise we talk about bmi control where you are targeting below 24.9 uh, kg per meter square what we call body mass index where you target below between 18.5 and also to 24.9 uh, it's also so good to mention the lower part of it because if you are below 18.5 of the your body mass index also you are underweight if you are above to 24.9 also of kg per, per meter square you are into obesity at that particular time or overweight also, monitor blood sugar levels is another very important aspect where screening is very important and this involves going for a checkups. If we are, especially if you have risk in the family, history of overweight or obesity, also sedentary lifestyle can predispose you to this problem. So, monitor your blood, uh, blood sugar levels if you are predisposed to factors, especially the family history of this and if you are overweight and also if you are obese. It's very important that you get to check your sugars Im immediately. Also know your numbers, understand and monitor your blood sugar levels regularly, especially if you have pre-diabetic or other risk factors. Number five is avoid, uh, avoid uh, alcohol consumption and tobacco. It's very important where you should quit smoking because this special smoking complicates the management of the uh, of, the, of the body because especially it affects the blood circulation and the increased risk for cardiovascular diseases. Also limit alcohol intake because alcohol also uh, for women especially uh, they say you take one drink per day and also men two drinks per day uh, that's enough for you and if necessary avoid the drink at the end of the day to avoid a lot of problems. Another very important aspect to manage is uh, manage your stress. You to manage redu stress reduction practices. I've always talked, like every video, about deep breathing exercise, 
we talk about yoga, we're talking about uh, uh, meditation, we're talking about spending time on the hobbies, uh, and also health coping uh, mechanisms where I find healthy ways to cope with the stress, such as talking to friends, family, or a counselor at the end of the day. Regular medical checkups, very important guys, where healthcare provider visits or you get to visit their clinic to, for, to screen you for diabetes and also make follow-ups as recommended and also medication and also as, a, as a prescribed at the end of the day. So, uh, and with the regular medical checkups, we are screening for diabetes related complications such as eye exams where you get, because also diabetes gets to affect your eyes at the end of the day from our introduction. So medication adherence is another aspect which is very important. Follow your doctor's orders. If you have the pre-diabetes or heart risk of diabetes, follow your healthcare provider recommendation for medication. And also if prescribed and lifestyle changes, it's very, very important that you get to adhere to your doctor's direction. Diabetes education and support is very important where we, have, we introduce education programs to where you participate in diabetes education programs to learn about managing the condition and also complications guys. Support networks, very important to join support groups which can... Also diabetes education, very important where education programs are introduced where you get to participate in education programs to learn about managing the condition and preventing the complications. Support networks, they are very important where you join support groups or seek family support uh, and friends to stay motivated and also stress management effectively. So preventing diabetes, uh, especially those warning signs, is a proactive approach involving health eating, regular physical activity, weight management, monitoring blood sugar levels. By adopting these lifestyle changes and also managing the risks involved. It's very important that we get individuals can significantly reduce the risk of developing diabetes and associated complications. So if you have any concerns about diabetes prevention or management, consult with the healthcare professional for personal guidance and support. Guys, my name is Vincent. Vincent is not your average nurse. This is where we get to discuss matters medical in a simple language without jargon where we get to understand and that's why it's very important that you get to like the video so that YouTube gets to recommend us to the larger population so that the such kind of information that such simple but very important information gets to reach uh, a larger population guys kindly support us like the video and I want to welcome you to our next video peace guys we love you very much thank you very much guys